So, we're well, having a bit of a spin on an XJR 1300, uh, 2008 model. Uh, something I was thinking about maybe changing to. Well, I've had a, I had a, a GTS style for many years, pan for several years. I used to big tourers, and uh, I was wondering if maybe I should go back to that that sort of line of things possibly since uh, obviously looking to change the MT um, well I don't know it's smaller than I thought which probably might surprise some of you but it is very comfy it's got the adjustable screen on it which is I don't know if that's good or bad I don't know if that's just a bit of a gimmick but anyway you know it's something I've got to say, I'm just not convinced it's for me anymore, or certainly not this time of my life again. The brakes feel terrible. I don't know how much of that is just because it's a, a big beast, how much of it's because it's an oldish beast. I don't know. Uh, uh, the, the brakes are really disappointing. It actually quite concerns me trying to haul such a big beast up in a hurry because it doesn't seem to haul up very well slowly. Um, but yeah it's uh, nice, lots of display, <laughs> well, I don't know, cigarette lighter socket, heated grips although I don't think they actually work, uh, you know obviously loads of luggage which would be useful, means you don't have to put on any soft luggage any time, just carry stuff around it all the time, but uh, yeah, oh. <laughs> I don't know that it's for me. However, I did spot a GSX 1400 in the showroom when I pulled up and I had seen it on their website and uh, I didn't think much of it off the photos. Oh, that's a bit scary braking for that. Um, yeah, I didn't think much of it off the photos, but seeing it in person, it's a very beautiful beast. So, if I have time, I think I have, I might take that out for a little bit of a spin. This has got absolutely brand new tyres on it, so I'm just being a bit ginger with it. Plus there's a level of rear climatisation, such a big boy. And also the fact that I'd probably be quicker stopping it if I just put my boots out. So, will I be buying this bike? No, I won't. It's got to be said. But that's why you have a test ride, test ride, isn't it? Which is why it's very disappointing that another dealer that I was looking at maybe buying from won't let you test ride any of their bikes. Their attitude is just well, if you don't like it, then you can bring it back and we'll give you the money back. But to me, that's not really the way you should be doing business. I don't know, I suppose it's each their own, but... You can sit on the bike all you like, you can listen to it, you can look over it. Until you actually ride the thing, you've got no idea whether you're going to like it. Um, and that might be down to the actual bike's style itself and your kind of preferences. It might just also be because the actual bike itself may not be up to scratch. If this had decent brakes, uh, maybe I'd think about it. In fairness, the brakes are shocking, I think. They're nothing on what my GTS or my Pan were, and they were very big heavy bikes. They were heavier than this, I think, or well, certainly very comparable. I think the Pan was probably heavier, and the GTS was probably slightly lighter. Um, but, you know, this was sort of the, in a way, the replacement for that. And it had a much more sporty feel than GTS did. Well, that's fine that if you're building a, a, a tour or a sports tour, then make it maybe more, you know, when it's this size, make it more touring than sport. But you imagine, if I'm struggling to slow this up now, with just me on it and no, and nothing in the luggage, imagine being two up with panniers and top box full. You. I don't know, I just think you'd be in a world of pain.
So back on the MT, uh, I didn't take the GSX out um, since Prevail. No, basically it's uh, too old to get any kind of finance on and I'm not a rich man so I haven't the, the cash in my pocket to buy it. Therefore there was no point taking it out. Um, I'm sure it would have been a lovely bike to ride but I'm not going to mess them about like that. So back on the MT and uh, it's funny whenever I get back on this from something else it feels like a mini moto almost. <laughs> Light flickable, uh, crazy small for a big chubber like me. Stupidly quick, sharp, everything. I'm just reminded once more what an amazing bike it is. <laughs> 